Hi everyone, this is Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. Manny here is getting ready to pack our bags to go to the beach. So I'm going to show you how to make this extra large utility tote bag. Now it has optional pockets on the inside. You can make them any size you want, as many as you want. I'm also going to give you a couple of options for making straps. So let's get started. The finished size of this tote bag is about 19 inches by 23 inches. When you select your fabric for the outside of the bag, I recommend a heavy cotton. I wouldn't use like thin quilting fabric, but you can if you like. But I think this is more of a utility tote bag, so you want something a little more durable. Whatever you select, you need about three-fourths of a yard out of that fabric you're going to cut two that's 20 inches by 24 inches. Now your lining fabric can be your regular cotton like quilting fabric if you like. You'll also need three-fourths of a yard and cut two the same size 20 inches by 24 inches. Now on your straps I'm going to give you a couple of different options for that. If you're a beginner and you want something just really easy you can buy one inch wide strapping uh, strips and you can get it off of a roll in your fabric stores. For instance, at Joann's, just look where they have all the ribbons and trims and all that and you'll see it in there. And you're gonna need about two yards. Or if you wanna make your own, I have some really nice straps I'm gonna show you how to make. Then you can, you only need about a fourth of a yard. You'll need to cut two that are four and a half inches by 36 inches. And then you're gonna need half inch wide piping and you're gonna need two that are 18 inches long. So you would just need to purchase a yard of that. On the fabric for the outside of the bag, as well as the lining, you're gonna cut the two lower corners out. You're gonna cut a two and a half inch square out of that corner. So here's my 24 inch long side and this is my 20 inch long side. So go ahead and pay, place your two and a half inch line on each side there and trace around it and then cut it out. So then put on your heavy iron on interfacing on the back or any type if you're using the lightweight put it on the back side. Follow the fusing instructions on your package. Then I recommend that you do a machine basting stitch around all of the sides because sometimes the heavy iron-on interfacing begins to separate as you are stitching everything together. Bring the fabric for the outside, both the front and back pieces, front sides together and stitch a half a seam along this bottom edge and then press this seam open. After you stitched the bottom and pressed it open, then stitch a half an inch seam on each side. This is the side seam, and this is the seam along the very bottom of the bag. Bring those two together and pin and stitch one half inch along this bottom corner. Do this at both lower bottom corners. When you're done, this is what your two lower bottom corners should look like. If you are putting pockets in your bag, take your pocket fabric and bring front sides together. You're going to leave a small opening on one side. So stitch one quarter inch seam all the way around the four edges. Then trim some of the fabric off the corners. After that, go through your opening and turn this front side out. Then I would press this and fold your edges in at the opening in a quarter of an inch and press. And make sure you poke at your little corners there because they may not come out super, super square. After you've done that, do a little stitch close uh, to the edge there to close it up. Place the pockets in the center of the lining on the outside part of the fabric. Then stitch along three sides. 
If you want this just to be one large pocket, you don't need to stitch anymore. But if you want to divide it up, for instance, I made this side a little narrower than this side, then go ahead and stitch down where you want the seam to be. I would do back stitches here and here. And then if you're doing your pockets on the other side of the bag, on this one, I made it a little wider this way and, and a little shallower this way. And I have three pockets here, one, two, three, and they're all about the same size. Bring the two lining pieces front side together. And you're gonna stitch a half inch from about here over and from here over. You wanna leave a fairly large opening because you're gonna use this opening to turn the bag front side out. And then along each side here, do a half inch seam. Stitch the two lower bottom corners the same way you did for the fabric for the outside of the bag. So here's the side seam, and then here's the seam along the bottom. Stitch a half inch seam along here. Have the fabric for the outside of the bag sticking front side out. And your lining fabric is back side or wrong side out. Then you're gonna insert the outside fabric inside of the lining fabric. So now the fabric for the outside is on inside of the lining. So you bring the front sides of the lining and the fabric for the outside, you bring front sides together all the way around. First, match and pin your seams open on each side. This is real important. Then go ahead and pin the lining and the fabric for the outside all the way around this top edge. After you've done that, stitch one, excuse me, stitch a half an inch seam allowance all the way around. Here's that hole at the bottom of the bag on the lining. This is where you're going to pull the outside fabric through. So take your time and pull it all the way out. Here is the fabric for the outside. Here is the lining. So at the very bottom, you want to close up that opening. Fold your edges in a half inch, pin it closed, and stitch real close to the edge all the way across. Then go ahead and stuff the lining back inside of the bag itself. After you've pushed the lining back inside of the bag, then you want to even out your edges up here and stitch about an eighth of an inch from the edge at the top. And when you're done, this is what it should look like. And now you're ready to put the straps on. I'm gonna show you how to make your own straps. Take your fabric, remember you're cutting it four and a half by 36 inches long. At each end, you're gonna fold it over a quarter of an inch and press it. Then on both sides of the strip, fold it over and press, and you're doing it a quarter of an inch. Then fold it in half and press all the way down the full length of the strip. Then stitch across here, close to the edge, and all the way down to the side. And remember at that when you get to the end, stitch across there. So when you're done, your straps are gonna look like this. They're all stitched up. Place your piping, which is 26 inches long, and center it in the middle of the strap. You're going to have roughly 5 inches at each end of your strap where there is no cording. And then you're going to fold it over and you're going to stitch right across here. I recommend you use a zipper foot. It's a, a little more than half the width of a regular presser foot. And you can use that zipper foot so you can get really close here. So I'm folding this over as I go along and just stitching right up against that piping. So just fold it over, stitch a little bit, and fold it over, stitch a little bit. Let me take it out and show you what it looks like. And here it is. 
So this is what they're going to look like when they're done. Now when you're stitching this uh, piping in there, I stitch about a half an inch below where the piping ends. So I go down about another half an inch. And then this is what your end should look like. There's no piping in the ends of your straps. You're placing the straps on the outside of the bag. So your strap is placed five inches from the side. And the bottom of this strap here is two inches from the top. And so that's how you would do both of them, okay, on each side. Now your stitch pattern that I like to do is I'll stitch across the top first then down, across the bottom, and back up this side where I started. Now every time you come to corners, if you're a beginner, leave your needle down and lift up your presser foot every time you turn a corner. That way you will never lose your spot. Then stitch across this way, stitch back across the bottom, and back up here. So you have this square with an X in it. So you do all of your straps like this. For other tote bag and handbag projects, go to the end of this video where you'll see a green screen and click on the links. If you like this video, click on thumbs up and don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Enter your email address, click on the bell so that you receive future email notifications about my latest video. Also make sure you have notifications turned on on your iPad or your iPhone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing.